I like the crack noises, huh? <laughs> Whatever. But anyway, welcome back to Sly Cooper and the Theus Raccoonus. In the last episode, we did a few missions. We did, uh, we did, uh, we did, um, in high class heist into the machine. And we did also did, uh, this one over here Treasure in the Deaths. And then, see, this is actually the map. Yes, yeah, this is really how it's not full screen map, but you know, it, it's better than nothing. I guess they didn't make the map screen, but yeah, you can see these lock, lock key, these we can't go to yet. So these are locked and stuff like that. Oh, these three levels, but we did we already did uh we did a selfie approach in episode one, and then we did the th three I just mentioned in a, in a in the last episode. In this episode, we're definitely do the gunboat graveyard, and maybe we're gonna do we do fire down below, and we might we might do all three. We might do all three. I don't think we'll get to the boss in this episode, but we're definitely gonna do we're definitely gonna do a gunboat graveyard. Fire gunboat graveyard is a pretty quick level, so. So I think we could do all three levels, and maybe the boss fight. I don't know. It depends on how long the episode is and everything. But anyway, let's actually start Gumbo Graveyard. Yeah, and if you guys don't know about my last few let's plays I did on my channel of Sly One, I kind of did. I did this. This let's play is gonna be a di different order. Like usually, this is like one of the last levels I do, G G Gumbo Graveyard. But uh, but uh, this is not because I'm gonna do them in different order than I usually do. Like, usually, just because it's a ride, I like doing different rides as, in, in games and stuff like that, so... I'm starting up with Gunboat Graveyard. Even though it's usually the last one. Or the Crab one was usually the last one. But, nope. Not in this Let's Play. It's Gunboat Graveyard. Bum, bum, bum. I love the music in this level, though. But yeah, that was Sir World of the Fog. Um, they actually just speak out. The bosses in some certain sections of the game do do a uh, talk, which is is was interesting. Which apparently I thought there was one section where he does talk, but actually did not happen for some strange reason when I started the game when I did it, which is weird. But anyway, this level, the, I love the music. In this level, it's pretty great, pretty catchy, and also it's an interesting level. It's a pretty short level, but it's really interesting though. Like I love the music. There's actually a shortcut we can do to get could get over there quickly. But I'm not gonna show it off in this episode. I'm gonna show it off when we do the time trial. Yes, I'm doing the time trial in this let's play. Past let's plays, I never do the time trials, but you know, they're not that hard. They're actually not that hard. They're actually pretty easy, just. They're just, that's a really interesting creature though. Like, look at, look at. Yeah, look at, that's a weirdly interesting creature right there. But yeah, like, this, le this level is great. Pretty great. It's pretty short, it's not long, but it's great. Well, watch out for this guy though. This guy's shooting. I guess what are those stars? Oh, I'm trying to see what they are. <laughs> eh, I guess they're. No I guess they're nothing. And we can actually jump down on this guy and then bam! And you can see it makes a lot alert noise, but like we got we, we smashed him before he got us. Boom! Eighty coin. Eighty one coins. Also, also, by the way, if we get enough coins and if we don't get hit, we get a, a life. If we get so if we get if we, if we get 100 coins, we, we get an extra life, which is pretty great. Well, how, how many lives are we at? Hold on, check after we get it. After we get it, but what? I don't. I'm trying to think if the oh, man, that screwed me up. Never mind. I guess we won't get a life. We get the gold star. Get the gold star. Not the gold star, but the gold the gold, gold lucky charm. I meant to get the. I mean, we can still test that in this episode, but that's fine. Bam! 20, 20 clues, nice. That means we can unlock the vault here. Press the circle to enter the vault code. This one was cake. Input 719. 719. 197. Or 917. Oh, backwards. Take us. 
I know which one this is. What's interesting is this one also has a slow, we can slow move at any time later on in the game. This time we only can do like slow, slow jump. Like we can't like go slow the whole time, but we can slow when we jump, which is really interesting, which is pretty great. It's just boom, boom. But what's funny is I knew, what's funny, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> no, there you go. What's funny is uh, when I, when it, when the trophy popped up, I knew exactly which one it was. And I knew there's two slow ones, slow moves that we get, but the first one is just where we can jump slow. While the other one, later on in the game, I think we'll get it when we get Miss Ruby's area, I think. I think it's Miss Ruby's area where we unlock it. We can, like, you know, ooh boy, see, when we can go slow anytime we want. <laughs> but anyway, get this extra life. Yeah, we have 13 live, dang, we got 13 live, that's pretty great. You can see it's only been five minutes or so, a little bit over five minutes now, but uh, that, and we already got the, got the key. Anyway, this this time we're we'll doing fire down below. I'll do that one next. Do a cunning disguise last. I like how we know the the, the know the know the that ones and stuff. But yeah, fire down below. Like you know the levels of the first area in the game. One thing about this this level is uh the vault is actually near the beginning of the level. Temperatures reading way off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm machine. You can see the vaults already right here. See, like, the vaults right here, and you can see the entrances right there. So, yeah. So, if we had to backtrack, or we can just exit a level and come back to it. Which, on part, is, that's usually the easiest. Just, you know, exit, exit out a level and come back to it. Unless we miss a clue. God, oops. My bad. My bad. I got hit right there. Ah, oh, boy. It's gonna be interesting how, quick, how quickly we'll die. Like, like, it's been, like, I think the... Probably like the part of my first death is probably just me gonna fall somewhere, <laughs> like falling in, in a pit or something like that. I'm trying to think if there's like any areas that like one hit. Boom! There you go. And there's also clues behind the right behind this uh, coal right here and stuff. So yeah. What's what? And there's also I think yep, there's a clue right there. Also with this machine, what you had to do is spin like this. And just run it like a mouse, running like a mouse, and then grab onto it really quick as quick as possible. And then you let go right here by the checkpoint. Then smash this hammer bro. I'm gonna call it hammer bro. I love calling it hammer bro. It's funny. It's kind of funny calling him a hammer bro, even though it's not a hammer bro. It's not Mario, like I mentioned in the previous episodes. But you know, and speaking of which, this one has two different paths. We can either go left and get coins, or right and get clues. You can go right to get clues though. We need, like we don't really need coins that bad, but but yeah, we can we can do that. But like I said, once once we do have like a gold lucky charm or what I call a stinky, and then we get 100 coins, we get we uh, we get a we get a life, which I'll show you it to if we get into if we get it in this episode. If not, I'll show you it when we eventually get to it. Boom. Yeah, this is really. I love. I love like. Okay, well, I can't get up. I did like a lot of the older levels. They're pretty interesting. Um, I know some of the levels, like some of the mini games, are not that great. I mean, some of them are better than others. I love the one where you can just smash chickens. Like this one in Miss Ruby's area, we just smash fifty chickens. But it's also a time limit, which is really interesting. It's actually not that hard. Just kind of frustrating a little bit because you do have to dodge these like. Other chickens that have bombs. It's really weird. It doesn't really make sense why we had to smack 50 chickens under a time limit. But you know. We'll, we'll get. We'll, we'll, we'll see when we get there. Just a key requirement. It's really. Like some of these missions are really weird. But you know, it's a charm of Sly Cooper. You have to smash 50 chickens. Sly Cooper is a chicken killer. <laughs> uh. But this, is, this level is really interesting using the wheel. I kind of wish this level, I wish some of the mechanics in this game were used more, like the wheel, like the wheel and stuff. I like how that coal breaks the, breaks the thing, glass. I also like how they have the, 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 in this section where they have the lights over the other thing you had to move, which is really, which makes it more, more challenging. I mean, it's like it was an easy game, but that makes it pretty easily. Or, please tell me we have enough clues. 
Yes, we do. Nice. We knew we, I knew we did. Watch out for that alarm. Instead, there's that. There's that. Uh, enough of those the clues. But first, we need to get the key first. Oh, looks like we def we'll definitely have enough. Oh, I think we might do that to the boss in this episode. Yeah, I think we'll definitely beat the boss in this episode. The first boss in the game, Sir Wally the Frog. It's only been 10 minutes. And, like, yeah. And, like, my last two episodes weren't that long. Can we get it back up there without, uh... I'm gonna see if I can, like, hold on. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, I'm trying to see. There you go. Hey, yes, I did it. I did it. I was trying to do. I was trying to take the shortcut. You know, it probably took as long as to do that to get up there. Cause we need. Cause we need to unlock the vault. Press the circle to enter the vault code. I know. You had to tell me every time. No code can stand before me. It's got to be five seven nine. Five seven nine. Oh! Interesting. Chris Cooper's dive collection technique. This move is an extension of the dive move you already know. Just jump and hit the triangle button near breakable objects for some fast breaking, fast collecting action. Forgot how quick we got that. Oh yeah, that's, it's funny how we, it's funny how how quick we get some of that of some of these. Okay, so you know how we can do that. Now we can do this. Boom! Can do that now. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Bam, look at that. Look at that. So instead of this, like this is the normal one that we got. Which I'm gonna use it down here, I think. Boom! <laughs> pretty great. So we got this we got this rolling thing. We got the slow jump. Boom! We didn't even got the dive. <laughs> what's this? What's this? Bing! Oh, that worked. <laughs> I meant to do the flip, but you know, that's fine. Whoa! But anyway, let's do the cunning new size now, right? Nice lie. You can adjust the game camera using the right analog stick. And to bring the camera behind you, click it. I know, I know, I know the controller in this game, Bentley. Jeez. Like, I already brought up map at <laughs> the beginning of the episode. It, what's weird, it already tells you right there, too. It always, oh, we almost had 100 coins. That means you're gonna get a life. <laughs> get a lot of lives really quicker though in this in this game though. I think this is one of the more longer ep missions though. Oh, this mission is also really because you had to hide in a barrel. Yep, see, look at all those lives. We got 14 lives, pretty great. Look at that mouse. You can smack the mouse. Just smack the mouse. Ah, nope. Those rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you mm -hmm. step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Yeah, only way one find out is by using it. With all these cloak coins. <laughs> it's funny. Funny look. Funny as look. It just shoots us. If we <laughs> but if we step on the wall without it, we die. Basically, we die. Or we lose our good charm, at least. We can all smash these books, get a bunch of coins. What's this, though? What's this? What's this? We can flame it. <laughs> Boom. Go down there. I, lo I love that. I love the. I love the. That's the one thing I love about Sly. Han. Oh yeah, but yeah, I love how it uses the different mo different level design and stuff like the turrets. But like, I kind of wish they were used more. Like, I love Sly Cooper and all, but it has to use like look at this. Like, look at this. Like, thing is about this guard, you had to stay still though. Like, even if you move in the flashlight, like it will hit you. Like, I'll I'll show you actually. I might I might actually show it to you. Like, what happens if you? I'll actually might show you what happens if you don't stay still. <laughs> I might do that. <laughs> might show you what happens if you don't stay still. That's funny. That's kind of funny, actually, right there. I might not. I might. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. I can just do that. 
I'm actually gonna go ahead, get all these clues right here. Oh, but can we, can we, actually can we? I wonder if I can like... Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I did it! I did it! It did it without hitting me, because I, I went quick enough. Nice. Well, I don't want to miss the clues over here. Is there more out back here? Nope. Because we can't- I don't want to get flamed. Thing is, I can go up here. Well, if I gives us how many choices we have. Uh, I believe we do have to go back up here though, huh? Let's see. Yeah, I think we have- we can- Oh! Hold on. I need to get, uh... I think I need to go this way up here. Because there's a, there's a certain way, huh? on. That can also- Oh, jeez. I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying to think how to get back. Cause I can get up. I can get. Oh, there's how you do it. Cause I can get up. Also, get up this way. And get up back here. Like, what's this? What's this? <laughs> I can basically skip half the level and go up here like that. Make it, oh, oh! Ah! God. That didn't work. <laughs> yeah. I basically skipped half the level. It's pretty great. <laughs> Boom. I wonder if I can like, I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try something if I can get get over there without the barrel. Like that's that's challenge accepted. <laughs> it's pretty great. Like I know I'm going backwards now, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Bam. What's this? What's this? What's this? Hit points right here though. And this is where, and this is actually where we came from, down there. Yeah, basically, basically I skipped like half the level. It's pretty great. <laughs> is this all the clues? Is this all the clues? Ooh, missing three. What are the other three? Are the other three over here? Oh, yep, they're over there. Oh, right, they're over there. I thought so. Not sure, watch out! Watch out for the alarm. Ooh, we got gold though. We got gold. Ooh, I might try. I might try. I might try it. I might try it to not even use the barrel. That'd be pretty great. That'd be pretty great if I couldn't use the barrel. Press the circle to enter the vault code. You have to do the boss in the the help of a straight edge and compass, the answer was simple. Dial in two, four, two. Two, four, and two. Two, four, two. What is it? 242. It's also 242 backwards. What are we gonna lock here? Let me get it, hopefully. Oh, your lucky sly. This page features Karen Cooper Giwa's coin magnet technique. All she had to do was stand near money, and it would magically jump into her purse. From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. Okay, that's pretty great. <laughs> that's pretty great. Get we get the coins, sweet. Could jump, jump, and get the coins. That's that's a pretty neat one. It's in, always interesting. Now for the test. I'm thinking how I'm thinking how I'm gonna do this. Hmm. I might try this once. <laughs> I think if I can get hit only once. Oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I did it without. Yes, I did. <laughs> I knew we could get hit at least once there. You know what that means? We got a key without the half the half the level without the barrel. <laughs> nice. To be fair, we didn't even need the barrel in this episode. <laughs> That's definitely a way to get. That was pretty great. Man, imagine doing a co-star versus co-star not versus co-star with a uh, league to you because I know he mentioned that slight like, recently. Hit the to yes, I know. Yeah, I know, I know. I did that at the very beginning by pressing select. You can go to here. Pressing select goes to this button. I already know that. Bentley. I know sometimes the Bentley game does that. What did it tell you? Look at the background, though. Look at this background, though, with all that water right there. That looks pretty interesting. But you got, also got that blimp that's up. That's like. over right there. Can't really see it. But. Oh, yeah, guards respond. It's, the guards do respond, though. But. Yes, uh, you can go to the boss. What I was going to say is. Uh, I know, um. Legacy, you mentioned that uh, he actually just got this game, so uh, 
he could we like cause, so he we could do uh, a co-star, which is where we uh, on it on the game channel where where uh, I like I talk to him and he plays the game while I kind of direct him what to do, <laughs> which it's the kind of new series that they're where they were doing on game, so which is pretty great. At least I don't think we announced it yet. If we haven't, I, at least co-star if we haven't like the series on game. Oh, well, sorry, Gator. Sorry for uh, doing saying that. <laughs> If I actually spoil, not for spoil the series, but like, spoil like if you haven't announced co star. I don't remember if we have or not. But anyway, this is Eye of the Storm, and that's the first boss in the game. How delightful! We have a guest. The only thing is, I hate unexpected guests. Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine? You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. Bring it on. I love the dialogue in this game, though. It's pretty great. Just between the characters and stuff like that. And this is just the first game, too. Like, God, I love the first game. Like, I know I know people say Sly 2 is the greatest game of the series, but, like, Sly, Sly 1 is just a stor extraordinary. But, anyway, you just have to hit him. Like, you can see there's a health bar. This game has a health bar. Um, there's different stages in this game. On the different boss fights. This is always an interesting fight. I mean, it's an easy boss fight. It's the first boss. I mean, it's not the easiest, but still one of the easiest. <laughs> like, Mugshot's definitely gonna be harder. Miss Ruby is harder. A uh, thing about this one is, about with Miss Ruby is, in this version of the game, they kinda screwed up the whole, uh, what is it? They screwed up the whole rhythm game thing in this, in this version, though. So, <laughs> there's that, too. But like I said, this is already easy. We only need to hit him once. One more time to defeat him. Like we're not, we're getting to defeat him without probably getting hit. Yeah, see, look, look at this. This is easy. The jump and dodge, and once he gets, what's this? And I'll hit. See how easy that is. You beaten me. Well, gloat all you want, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Fog legs. <laughs> my villainous cohort in Utah. You will see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Alright. Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump. A technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of Field Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox. Who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. <laughs> All the papers this With game. The storm out of Newspapers. The boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. Let's see how they went to England. <laughs> took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. All right, that was Tide of Terror, which we see we got seven keys, six clue bottles, and zero of the time trial. Which, like I said, we're doing time trials. That'll be in the post game or after we beat the main game, at least. After we beat Clockwork. By the way, in the next episode, we'll start Mugshot's area, which is over here. Set to go to Mesa City. Not yet, not quite yet, Bentley. That we'll do that in the next episode. Because the next episode, we're we'll gonna go to Mesa City and start Mug Shots area, which is always interesting. Just the different levels are always, different at levels. Those are interesting. Nice that we beat got we beaten Sir Wallace. We got we did a lot in this episode. We did three levels and then beaten Sir Wallace the Frog. So, but anyway, great. And, and it's also a little longer episode. But anyway, I think I'm gonna end this episode off here. So, it's almost 25 minutes. So, but anyway, I've been Green Coast Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm out!